do, ba do, ba do, ba do. Well, it's absolutely pouring with rain, and I'm just standing on the top of Rochester Castle. I just thought I'd give you a really quick update on funny songs. A few months on, and it's still completely viral around the world. There's no sign of it slowing so far. My osteopath knows it. Most people you meet randomly in the streets know it. Most dog owners who use TikTok have made videos with it. It's just completely crazy, and as I said before, very unexpected. I guess like in any discipline in life, what goes completely crazy is never the thing that you expect. And I suppose as a writer you're always looking for deep emotion and the depths of human emotion, but of course that includes humour. I've got to go back to my old school next week to a careers event, and I'm sure I'm going to be asked how Funny Song went viral. The truth is, I don't really know. A French influencer called Squeezy tweeted it quite early on, and from then it just went massively viral of its own accord. After university, I spent many years writing emotive and romantic cello, orchestral and choral music, which does appear around the world in various ways, and in a sense feels like my true, genuine expression. However, it's been incredibly interesting growing up during the evolution of the internet and its subsequent development over the last 25 years that really has changed the way we live in so many ways. And I think as a composer, I'm fascinated by the emotional narrative and how that reaches people in today's world. And whether it's something like a symphony or a piece of film music, a piece of very serious art music, or a silly jingle like Funny Song, at the end of the day, if it gives people some kind of experience or gives them a smile or some kind of emotional reaction, or makes their day better, that, as far as I'm concerned, is a result.